Hi guys, it's Marsha from Smart in the Kitchen and I'm excited to talk to you guys today about wood cutting boards. It is a question that comes up in almost every cooking class I teach because I love wood cutting boards. I love the texture of them and the feel and they're so much better for your good chef's knives. They're just kinder to a knife blade. They won't dull it as quickly. Um, and people think that they are sort of less food safe, but they're not at all. You just need to know how to take care of them and I'm gonna teach you what to do today. So first things first, when I just use my cutting board for dinner, I just wash it with like a clean kitchen sponge and warm soapy water. And I wash both sides of my board so that it doesn't warp. You want water to hit both sides so that it sort of dries evenly. And then after it's totally rinsed, I dry my boards standing up like this behind my sink. I let, um, I put down a kitchen towel and I just let them dry standing up like this because then you get as much surface area as possible hitting the wood. So every once in a while, you'll get something on your board like turmeric or some berries that just stain your board. If that happens, I'm gonna show you what to do. You want to take some coarse salt. I actually have some stains on this board and half of a lemon. And it can be a lemon that you've already used for something or cooked with. Then we're just gonna like exfoliate our board and rub that lemon in. And it works to lift up those stains and the acidity from the lemon really helps to clean the board. Do the whole thing, even if you really only have stains in a couple places, and it will come right off. Like the couple stains I had on here are off. Then, there's a little bit of a spot there. Had to get it. Okay, then we're just gonna wash it like you typically would with warm soapy water, rinse it really well, and let it stand up to dry. And I give it, you know, I dry it with a dish towel first, but you really wanna let it completely dry. Like I, after I wash my cutting boards, I let them sit out all night long. Um, at first my husband was like, why are there these cutting boards standing up everywhere behind our sink? But then I explained that it's so they don't warp. If you have a bunch of wet boards that you're laying flat to dry, they're going to naturally warp and lift up as they um, dry unevenly. So it just helps them to stay in a, a flat shape. The other thing is you guys, you never want to soak your wood cutting boards and never, ever, ever put them in the dishwasher. That is like, no, no, no. Okay, so every once in a while, um, I will add some food grade mineral oil to my board. Um, so we're gonna pretend this is clean and I'm gonna show you what I do when I oil my boards. So you just wanna put like a quarter size amount in the middle of your board and take, I keep some like extra dish towels that I don't care about in a bottom drawer in my kitchen. So once you have that in your board, just rub it in everywhere. And look, this board is kind of dry a little bit, so I'm gonna add a little more because that disappeared right away. So we'll get some more. And I oil the back as well. I don't spend too much time on the back, but you wanna get all over. You wanna get all the nooks and crannies on your board. And obviously you wouldn't have salt on it. You would be starting with a clean dry board. And then you can let it sit out again at night. And in the morning, just use a dry towel and really buff it completely. This just helps to seal your board and keep it um, nice and moisturized so it doesn't crack and get those crevices. Then, I'm honestly kind of bad about this, but a couple times a year, I will add some beeswax. This is actually a combination of beeswax and mineral oil. Again, use an old cloth, um, and you can make your own mixture of this half and half beeswax and mineral oil, or you can buy it online. So this really gets your board shiny 
and new and um, just kind of gives it a nice surface so that liquids will just like pool on your board and not soak in. So if you spilled red wine after you had added beeswax to your board, it really wouldn't soak in and stain your board. The other thing I love to do, once my towel has this beeswax on it, I'll take my wood utensils and just kind of buff them to get them a little bit moisturized also. So you can do the same thing with any of your wood serving pieces, wood salad bowls, to keep them good as new. So really you guys, a wood cutting board can last you a lifetime if you take care of it. Um, just wash it well, let it dry all the way, and every once in a while you just have to give it some tender loving care. The last thing I was gonna tell you is every once in a while, say you've cut a ton of garlic, um, you could get up that garlic aroma with some salt and lemon juice if you feel like it really hasn't come up from that then just use some white distilled vinegar plain white vinegar put it on a cloth and give it a good rub with the vinegar and that helps take out any of those sort of smells and aromas from cooking and using your board so i hope this helps you guys I love wood cutting boards. I love bamboo cutting boards. I have a bunch that I use in classes and they have lasted me so long. So that's it. Let me know if you have questions and I hope that helps you guys.